Oops. This is CBS 2 HD. Don't miss numbers tonight on CBS. Are you sure that you're ready for this? I think so. You're ready. You'll be fine. <laughs> Just Thanks. think what a dynamite kickoff this is going to be for Oakdale 411. <sighs> Don't you think you should ace this interview before you start blowing your horn? Kim, come on. This is me. This is going to be a slam dunk. Hey, stranger. I hope we're not interrupting. Brad and Spencer were just getting ready to go on location for their new show. What do you mean, Brad's new show? What happened to Oakdale now? Oh, we're still doing it, but Brad and Spencer are doing a show called Oakdale 411. Come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are our good friends, Henry and Vienna. Spencer just started at the studio. All right, and already hosting a show. Very impressive. <laughs> Co-hosting with Brad. He and Katie have taught me everything I know. Which, I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> of course. Well, ho, ho, look who stepped out their big restaurant empire. <laughs> Not an empire. I think you guys I, I know. Well, that's why we're here. It's been so long. We wanted to see if you guys uh, want to do lunch. I would love to. I can't. Can't. You know, but uh, maybe Katie can. Oh, look who's playing hard to get. Well, listen, let's just wait till Brad's done, and then we'll go for drinks. That, that sounds good. Come to Metro. Yes, yes, yes. Come to Metro. I've got this sassy new Pinot Noir that's just begging to be let out of the bottle. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I guess so. All right. Hey, wish us luck. You don't need it. All right, Eddie. Let's go bag us an evil toy maker. It was nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Good luck. <laughs> Why aren't you co-hosting the new show? Because I'm gonna be doing more hard news now, and I don't have room on my plate. Besides, I want Brad to do this alone. The more he realizes that he can be successful on his own, the more he'll realize that he doesn't owe me for everything. Katie, that's the last thing you want him to think. I'd rather Paul not see me here. He's out of town. Really? Yeah, he went to Cleveland. He wants to start earning an income again. Hmm, sounds like he's getting his sanity back. Stop it. I already told you that he is making a quick recovery. And he understands that you asked me to take care of his financial problems, right? Yes, he does understand that. And like I told you, he is very grateful that you did that. Well, that explains the long thank you message you left me. <laughs> well, he still is, Paul. I'm just very grateful that I don't have to lie or worry about him finding out. It's probably better you don't mention my name around him anymore. That's so you don't have to worry. All that anger and resentment was just part of his illness. He has nothing against you. Mm -hmm. If you want to believe that. Yeah, I do believe it. Well, like you said, he's still Paul. Paul Ryan doesn't give up easily. All right, so after our meeting yesterday, I had some documents drawn up. This is uh, a license and credit cards and passports for you and for little Adam. His name is Andrew. Uh, no, his name is Johnny. And your name is Lucy Montgomery. It's a good headshot. Yeah, camera loves you. I always thought so. Unfortunately, my public hasn't gotten a chance to figure that out yet. <laughs> anyway. Something wrong? I'm just not so sure about all this. Really? Yesterday, you thought it was a great gig. I just don't know how good it is for us. Oh, come on. Traveling the world for six months for free, just the two of you? That isn't better than daycare and waitressing? Auditioning? I guess. Okay. So what's the problem? Okay. I spoke to this guy in my acting class who dropped out of law school, and he you said... You spoke to someone about me. Why shouldn't I have? That's not okay. My disarrangement needs to remain confidential. I didn't use your name or anything. It doesn't matter. Next time you have a question, you talk to me. Okay, I will. Look, I just want to know if this is legal. These are the toys that every kid will be begging Santa Claus to bring this year. <laughs> That's an adorable doll. Isn't she? She speaks five different languages. So while your child is feeling the love, she's also on the road to success in the global community. <laughs> that sounds like it might be appropriate for older children. Well, mostly two to five-year-olds, maybe your more precocious infants. <laughs> I think my 16-year-old daughter would like one. <laughs> oh, well, lovely ladies are never too old for dolls, even when they're dolls themselves. Oh. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Mr. Crane. It must be so satisfying knowing it's your job to make children happy on Christmas. That's why I got into this business. 
Now, some guys, they feel like there's no difference. Toys, appliances, it's all the same. They're just in it for the money. Mm. I'm about kids. I have to ask you about safety. Parents worry a lot these days about the clothes and the food and the toys they give their children. They want assurance that nothing's going to be dangerous. I worry about it too, and that is why I do the inspections myself. No toy leaves this factory until I personally check it out. Uh, that must take up a lot of your time. Well, what's more important than safety, right? How could I live with myself if something ever happened to a child who was playing with one of my toys? Okay, so if, I mean, if I had a, a two-year-old daughter and I gave her one of these dolls, I wouldn't have to worry. Oh, absolutely Because not. you know how curious, you know, kids can be and, you know, accident, accidents, you know, they bang, happen. And you wouldn't want little parts to come out of the doll that they can choke on, would you, Miss Crane? Well, of course this is all legal. Why would you even ask that? You already know everything about this project. I told you all about it. Travel book for a single mom. Yes, real solutions for real people. And my best research is going to come from you. And why can't we use our real names? Well, because I need to protect the integrity of the project. I mean, let's say you're visiting a hotel or a restaurant, and they catch wind of the fact that you're working for me. Right, they're going to give you preferential treatment. And while that might be nice, what I need is the experience that a real mother would have if she were to follow my advice. I guess. Yeah. You know, it's not just me. You know, my, my publisher in Chicago, they, they, they love this whole anonymity angle, and they really believe in you. That's why they're paying your salary and all your expenses. And all you have to do for the next six months is keep a journal on the laptop that I provided for you. It's perfectly legitimate. Mr. Phillips, I... No, please, call me Raul. I know you know what you're doing. I just don't see how so many moms can buy a book on how to travel the world. I mean, how could they afford that? There's lots of moms who can afford it. There's doctors and lawyers and business executives. In fact, that reminds me, congratulations. You're a doctor. I've always wanted to be a doctor. There you go. What do you think, Andrew? Do you want to go eat ice cream in 12 different cities all over the world? I want to go, Mommy. Come on. What do you say? You want to go travel the world in style, Dr. Montgomery? Who would you give a leave to? My sister for her arthritis pain. Definitely my mom for her back pain. I'd give it to my uncle for his knee pain. This October, help someone move pain-free with a free box of Aleve during the Aleve Buy One, Give One giveaway. Check out Sleeping Beauty. What happens when you clean your windows more often with Windex? It's streak-free shine lets in more light. This is not my house. This is not my house. For street free shine, use Windex. Make a real meal in minutes. Your whole family loves to eat. With a cheesy hot casserole. Wholesome food, it's such a treat. Campbell's cheesy chicken and rice casserole. Possibilities. Who we got here? We need a place to stay. You know she's in some kind of trouble. Who's gonna take them in if we don't? Not since Waiting to Exhale has there been an all-star cast that will capture your heart with the joy of sisterhood. Some things don't matter, but lifting someone's heart, that matters. Queen Latifah, Dakota Fanny, Jennifer Hudson, Alicia Keys, Sophie Okanedo. On October 17th, don't miss one of the year's very best, The Secret Life of Bees. Rated PG-13, October 17th, only in theaters. More dishwasher brands are unanimous in their commitment to brilliant results. By recommending Finish, the new name for Electrosol, the diamond standard. I like to color my hair a lot. And with L'Oreal's Excellence Cream, color doesn't get more perfect than this. Excellence Triple protects our delicate hair, so it feels fuller, thicker. Plus, this formula won't drip, so it really covers gray a lot. Excellence Cream by L'Oreal Paris. Ester C is the better vitamin C because it provides 24-hour immune support. And Ester C is gentle on the stomach. Bolster your immune system with Ester C, the better vitamin C. Before we came up with the next great new thing from Ego, we talked with the experts. It's gotta be sweet. It should be something I like from the baker. Straight out of the oven. Lots and lots of ice. A strawberry. Something that's not loaded with calories. I'd like to give them something a little more nutritious. Without them really knowing about it. Introducing Ego Bake Shop Swirls. With layers of strawberry flavored filling and icing inside, they're the sweet breakfast with a fresh baked taste made with kids and sometimes moms in mind. Lego mine. My, my, my. New Ego.
People may not realize that there's a chance drowsiness may occur when they take Zyrtec for their allergies. But it says so right there on the back of the bottle. That's why I choose to be Claritin Clear. Claritin relieves your worst allergy symptoms without making you drowsy. So join the millions of people who use non-drowsy Claritin and... Live Claritin Clear. The search for Bella's soulmate is off and running. Jay? He's so bizarre. In the show critics call hilarious. It's like dating the bus from speed. The X list new episode CBS tonight. Spencer is a little sponge. She soaks up whatever we tell her and comes back for more. Mm. I'll bet she does. She's just eager to learn, Vienna, and she looks great on camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's pretty, I guess. And young. Yeah, you, you, you've got to be pretty to be on TV. I mean, look at Katie. She's gorgeous. Oh, oh. thank you. Well, well, so is Brad. I, I never noticed. I'm sure Spencer has. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's not interested in Brad. Well, if you say so. Actually, I think she's more interested in me. Really? As a role model, oh. someone to look up to, a professional woman who's successful in her career. I'm sure you have a lot that she wants. Yes, success, stardom. A hot husband. Vienna. Look, even if you were right, which you're not, Brad wouldn't be interested in her. Maybe not, but he's still a man. Henry's a man, and he works in a nightclub filled with eager, young, beautiful women. Yeah, which is why I'm never more than two feet away at all times. I, never, I only have eyes for you, my darling. Well, it's not your eyes I'm worried about. <laughs> I trust Brad. And I trust Henry. It's the young, eager women that I don't trust as far as I can throw them. Give me that. And those pieces. Brad's right. Those do look like something a small child could choke on. Look, a small child can't break this doll. Well, I didn't try very hard. I barely pulled on it. Well, so maybe it was defective. Look, I, I told you, I inspect every doll before it leaves the factory. I would have caught this one before it shipped. Okay, well, here's one that we bought at a local toy store. And I'm nowhere near as strong as Brad. Wait a minute. Isn't it true, Mr. Crane, that the Product Safety Association has issued three warnings against your products, including this doll? Look, what is this? Would you like to explain to the parents at home who might be watching why you've ignored those warnings? Oh, that is a lie. Well, this is the report recommending legal action against the Crane Toy Company. You people came here to ambush no, me. No, we came here to find out why you're selling dangerous toys to children. You ruined my business! You don't deserve to be in business. Oh, look, it's Christmas! Ah, ah, Wait oh, oh, hey, hey! Ah. I'm not questioning your medical judgment. <laughs> oh, really? Well, it's not just that. I know, Paul. So do I. He's not the person he was. You keep saying that. Yeah, because it's true. He's always had two sides, like all of us. He's just learning to make friends with a good one. Sounds like a cool comic book hero. Can't wait to meet him. You know what, Dusty? He's giving you another chance. The least you could do is give him one. If you want me to, I will. Yeah, I do. Hello. Dusty, you need to get down to my office right away. Why is that? I think I have a lead on Lucy and Johnny. Ah! All right, give me that. Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. Are you still rolling? Isn't it true, Mr. Crane, that a little boy almost choked on a mini SUV toy you made? I'm not answering any more questions. Well, turn that damn thing off! Hey, off the camera! Hey, you don't want to do that! I no, want no, you no. out of here! All of you! That's, that's okay, we got what we came for. Come on, let's go, let's go. Mr. Crane, don't you want to explain why you are selling dangerous toys to children? I princess? said get out of here! But you have to answer the question! No, we're done, come on. I will sue every one of you and your station so you can kiss your little jobs goodbye! When I'm done with you, you'll never work in this town again! Everyone okay? Yeah. You got that last run on camera, right? You got everything. Well, did you see that guy? He went ballistic. He was amazing. You know what? No, you were amazing. Really? Really. Oh, I couldn't have done it if you weren't there. That's what we make a great team? <laughs> we do, don't we? <laughs> I think I need to speak in defense of Brad and of all men everywhere when I say that just because a guy spends time with a cute girl doesn't mean that he's going to lose his mind. It may distract us a little. A little. Not that we're going to do anything about it. Especially not guys that are in love with such beautiful, wonderful women like Brad and myself. <laughs> Good save, Henry. I thought so. <laughs> the point is, I agree mm -hmm. with our dear Henry. 
I trust Brad, and I really don't think Spencer's after him. Okay, I just hope you're right. Katie? Yes. You got a minute? Yes, I'll be right there. Hey, uh, good, get to work. We'll meet you at okay. Metro, yeah? Yes, after yes. we're done here. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. I want you to see the feed from Spencer and Brad. Come on. So it's the lead. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, ran three red lights. What's up? Okay, um, I know that your PI in San Francisco has a lot of good sources, but I have to say I've collected a, a few good ones myself over the years. I made a few calls. I know this forger in New York. He they're called New me York? back. Yeah, they're in New York, and he told me that he just did an overnight deal for Lucy Montgomery and her son. In the real names? No. No, 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 no. That doesn't make any sense. No, I know. I said the same thing. They're I mean, using I, fake names. I know, but he said he only dealt with this guy who paid cash. What guy? I don't know. His name was Phillips. Does he know where Johnny and Lucy are right now? No. But I made another call. Contact at the FBI. He ran the numbers the forger gave me. He came up with this. Store, a few blocks down from Central Park South, where all those hotels are. The name of the store, the items they bought. Mm. Mm. You're amazing. Yeah, aren't I? Hey, what, what, where are you going? In New York. Listen, I'm gonna call my PI on the way to the airport and bring him up to speed. Okay, okay, I'll uh, I'll keep looking uh, from this end. Yeah, things down. I owe you for this. Yeah, you do. I just want to take my head off. The light actually hurts. It's blinding. Every sound is like a sonic boom. Now, from the makers of Imitrex, comes something even more effective. New Trexamet. It's superior to Imitrex tablets at relieving migraine pain because it works two ways. It targets the nerves and blood vessels believed to trigger a migraine, and it relieves inflammation that causes migraine pain. Trexamet may raise the risk of fatal heart attack, stroke, stomach bleeding, or serious rash. Don't take it if you have heart, liver, or blood vessel disease, heart bypass surgery, uncontrolled blood pressure, or allergies to aspirin, NSAIDs, or Imitrex. A life-threatening problem may occur, especially if used with antidepressants. Tell your doctor if you have kidney disease, heart disease risks, like like smoking or high blood pressure, have had stomach ulcers or bleeding, are pregnant, nursing, or take medicines. Ask your doctor about Trexamet. It's superior to Imitrex at relieving migraine pain. The season's big look is Lash Blast. For big, bold, look at me lashes, the big brush towers over the leading brush. Plus, it has 50% more bristles to coax every lash up, out, and away. It's Lash Blast from Easy Breezy Beautiful Cover Girl. You do so much for the health of your smile. So don't let surface stains and unhealthy buildup get in the way. New Crest Pro Health Whitening. It reduces unhealthy buildup and up to 80% of surface stains. It helps reveal your teeth's natural whiteness. And it protects against all these other areas dentists check most. Reflect your good health with a naturally white smile. New Crest Pro Health Whitening. Also, try New Crest Weekly Clean for a smooth, clean feeling in between dental visits. For a red, irritated nose, try Puffs Plus with lotion and a touch of shea butter. It's more soothing than plain tissue. Why use any other? A nose in need deserves Puffs Plus indeed. Ahoy! Mother Nature here with your monthly gift. Actually, I'm good. Maybe you should go ashore for some backup. Backup. Who needs backup? Tampax Pearl has lead guard protection built in. Outsmart Mother Nature with Tampax. Kids always take too much, especially when it comes to bath tissue. But with Charmin Ultra Soft, our softest ever, you can use less because it's more absorbent than the leading value brand. Charmin Ultra Soft. <laughs> What's really fun is to give people heartburn at night. They're all, I'm going to party. Surprise, sister. No, you're not. <gasps> Frequent heartburn used to ruin my evenings, so I tried Prilosec OTC. It works all day and all night, so now heartburn won't keep coming back. Man. Prilosec OTC mm. works to block heartburn before it begins for 24 hours with one pill a day. Try Prilosec OTC, the round-the-clock heartburn blocker. You see the feed? Hey. You see the feed? Oh, it was awesome! I know, I know. I mean, he couldn't have been better if we gave him a script and we went after 
Spencer like that? And then the camera? Oh, yeah, and that last shot in the doorway was Rady's goal. Yeah. You okay? He was scary. <laughs> uh, when he tried to hit me, I... Uh, if Fred hadn't have stepped in... Oh, uh, well, that's why we keep him around, because of his big muscle. <laughs> okay, you weren't impressed when I nailed him the commission the way I slapped it down the table like that? I mean, come on. That moment may be the promo. Or, or when he went after Spencer. I mean, look yeah. on that guy's face. When he realized we weren't there to showcase his fat, ugly elf routine. It was great TV. You really think so? Absolutely. It kept me glued the entire time. You couldn't ask for a better start for your new show. Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't just Horace. I mean, you were terrific. You really were, wasn't she? Yes, yes, she was. You, you didn't look like a newbie at all. I don't see how that's possible. I was so terrified I couldn't feel my lips. <laughs> well, you couldn't tell. <laughs> well, it's really sweet of you to say, but I'm sure I did a million things wrong. Oh, but nothing you can't learn the next time. No, and way. the important thing is you kept your cool. Well, Brad's really the one who kept his cool. You, you don't think I was freaked out? Believe me, I was freaked out. I couldn't tell. No, I just learned from Katie how to keep my control, you know, keep control Actually, no matter what happens. you all did a fabulous job out there. And if you want to see it, take a look at it. We're going to do the editing notes tomorrow. It's all on here? All of it. Eddie uploaded it from the truck. Hey, uh, uh, what happened to Henry and Vienna? Oh, we're going to meet them for drinks after we're done here. Are we done? Are we done? Actually... I think you guys have accomplished enough for one day. You hear that? The big boss has spoken. I could really use that drink. And you deserve it. Mm. Bye. Actually, Spencer, you want to join us? Really? Oh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> okay, what is she doing here? What? I hope you guys don't mind. We didn't want to leave Spencer alone. No, of course not. Welcome to Metro. You guys own this place? It's so cool. Oh, you should see it at night. <laughs> oh, I'll have to come by and check it out. Great, you do that. Um, I got a set up over here. Let's, let's come on oh, and have a good. seat. Can we get another glass, man? Thank you. Oh, so that is what you call a sassy. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Wait till you taste it. Do you like Pinot Noir? I'm sure if you picked it, it's got to be good. So, how was the toy store? <laughs> it was factory, factory Vienna. And it, it, you know what? We nailed it. Yeah, they oh. really did. It was unbelievable. Yeah, that sounds like you're uh, getting off to a good start. Oh, I'm just trying to keep my head up above water. Oh. <laughs> Thank God I have Katie and Brad to help me. I couldn't ask for two better mentors. I think my head is starting to swell. Don't worry, honey. No one will notice. <laughs> 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 and for a young woman like me just starting out in the business, Katie is an inspiration. I only hope one day I can have everything she has. Are you sure about that? No, well, just find out and get back to me. You know where I am. Oh, my day just got so much brighter. Great to see you, too. Please tell me you're lost. You just came in here looking for directions. No, I got a call from accounting saying I needed to come down here and sign some papers, and I told them I'd be here right after I get back from Cleveland. Oh. Well, they're not here. Okay. Well, maybe you can call accounting and find out where they are. I'm not your secretary. In the grand scheme of things, you work for me. So fire me. Then you can explain to the board why I'm gone, even though the intruder's revenue and circulation has increased for three straight quarters. Does everything have to be a spitting contest with you? Only with you. You know what? I'll track down those papers myself. Okay, you do that. Oh, I heard the, um, uh, your anonymous benefactor was identified. Yes. It's very, very kind of Dusty to do that. I should thank him. You should. Do you know where he is? Not his secretary, either. I'll just go get those papers. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure. Yep. Emily Stewart. No, I'm sorry. Wrong extension. This is not Paul Ryan's office. You might want to try accounting. Really? Are you sure about that? No, I, I will be happy to tell him myself. Hey, what's up? Paul was just here. He said he just came back from Cleveland. Guess what? He was in New York. You sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure. The airline just called. He left something on his flight. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? I gotta go. I'll call you back. Here you go, Dr. Montgomery. Dr. Montgomery. Not so fast.
Want to look naturally glamorous, never overdone? New Revlon Beyond Natural. A weightless foundation that starts off white and self-adjusts to match your natural skin tone. How cool is that? New Revlon Beyond Natural. <laughs> your worst cold symptoms fast with Theraflu Daytime Warming Relief. The power of Theraflu with a warming sensation that instantly soothes and comforts. Theraflu, good to be back. Look for new Theraflu flavored with berry and a hint of menthol and green tea. pizza in a bite-sized snack totino's pizza rolls i felt like i was always cleaning every day i couldn't get away from these stubborn stains that's why i have lime away lime away not only removes the toughest hard water buildup but its formula with duraguard acts like a shield to protect from stains coming back lime away is a must after the baby i started working out and taking a pain reliever for my knees went back to work needed something else for tension headaches baby got big I got one more for my back. Every new pain, a different pain reliever. But not anymore. Today, I'm all Advil. Advil is my every pain reliever. Works on all my pains, wherever I hurt. So I'm ready for anything. I'm all Advil. These are fresh ocean spray cranberries. They're tart. These are craisins, sweet and dried cranberries. They're sweet. That's why bees like them. And this is a new 100 calorie pack craisins. Perfect for when you're on the go. Uh, they're really loud. On taxes, who's on your side? John McCain pledges hundreds of billions in corporate tax breaks, billions for oil companies, but for 100 million households, nothing. And McCain's health plan would tax benefits for the first time ever, meaning higher income taxes for millions. Barack Obama, no tax hikes on any families earning less than a quarter million dollars, and three times as much middle class tax relief as McCain for the change we need. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Is there life after death? One man's near-death experience will make him believe in ghosts. You can't see them, but you can hear them. Now, they'll work together to help lost souls. This whole ghost thing, it's kind of creepy. A lot of responsibility comes with this gift. A new episode of Ghost Whisperer, CBS Tonight. To win the race, the teams will have to wrestle a woman. The battle has begun. New Amazing Race, Sunday after 60 Minutes. is the number one movie in America. Hold your tacos. It's the number one comedy. Fabulous. And it's the number one greatest Chihuahua film of all time. I think I'm gonna cry. Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Rated PG. See it now. Oh, yeah. We got a call from my daughter-in-law about 3 o'clock in the morning that Eric had been involved in an explosion in Iraq. It was uh, a real horrifying experience as a parent. We were told that uh, he was going to remain in a vegetative state. Well, we encountered a system that was unable to provide Eric the rehabilitation that he needed. I wasn't going to give up on him. Dick Durbin felt the same way I did. And Dick Durbin has become a leading voice in our country to ensure that soldiers with traumatic brain injuries get the best care. Dick Durbin and I worked together on a law, the Wounded Warrior Act, to ensure these young men and women returning from the war with such severe injuries can get better. My son is living proof of that today. I'm Dick Durbin, and I'm proud to approve this message. New Dr. Phil, exposing this shocking underground world. NCIS blast the competition. I can handle the truth. New NCIS Tuesday. Oh, none for me, thanks. You have to drink. We're toasting you. Oh, I'm so exhausted. If I have any more wine, I'll crash. Okay. Well, it's true. All that excitement does kind of wear you out. Yeah, I should get back to the hotel, get some sleep so I don't make a complete idiot out of myself tomorrow. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Thank you all so much for inviting me. Oh, how are you?
are you going to get back? We all came in Brad's car. Oh, I'll just call a cab. No, he can he can take you back. Sure. Oh, uh, I don't want to take you from your friends. Oh, how sweet. I'll call your cab right now. No, I know. It's no problem. We talk about how great we were today. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Thank you all so much for putting up with me. Oh, don't be silly. You're part of the family now. Be back in ten. Are you out of your mind? You could have just dropped me off, you know. Katie and your friends are waiting. Well, they could survive without me for a couple more minutes. You guys were so amazing to me today. I don't know how to thank you. You don't have to, like Katie said. You know, you're part of the family now. <laughs> She's wonderful. I think so. I never expected anyone to help me as much as she has. Well, you and me both, okay. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a secret. There's no way I would <laughs> admit this at the time when I first started Oakdale. Now, I had no idea what I was doing. I'd never done TV before. Man, I couldn't even find my camera. I can't believe that. You look like you've been doing it your whole no, life. I'm telling you, it's true. It's just blind luck and Katie. Is she, uh, yeah. You know, she taught me everything. I'm gonna be here without her. If I ever get anywhere in this business, I hope one day I have the chance to help someone like Katie's helping me. You will. You will. Okay, you know what? You know, okay, the most important asset you can have on TV is your own personality. <laughs> you know, it's it's what makes an audience watch. No, it's you know, they have to they have to like you and they have to want you to be their friend. Well, I'll never be as likable as Katie. No, are you kidding me? You're very likable. You really think so? I do. Well, I think you're likable, too. You really don't see what's going on here? That whole, oh, I'm so tired, please drive me home routine? It was my idea, not hers. Exactly! You did exactly what she wanted you to do, and she made you think it was your idea. You are being ridiculous. No, you are being played like a violin. No, 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 I'm with Katie on this one, okay? Even if she is the greatest schemer in history, there are some of us that are just too savvy to be suckered. Oh, you think so? Absolutely, I think so. I mean, Brad is one. I'm myself. We're experienced. We've uh, been around the block a few times. You know, some young woman is not going to pull the wool over our eyes. Uh, let me show you something. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. What? What is it? My wallet. My wallet's not here. Lord, when did you last see it? I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. At Al's. I was paying for a delivery, and then the guy, he, he forgot one of the sheets in the truck, and I went out to sign it, oh, and I'm I put sure my wallet I'm sure it's still there. Oh, my God, my credit card, my cash, and my driver's license. I gotta go no, get no, it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I gotta go. Oh, I gotta okay, go. Okay, sorry. Go, go, go. go. Sweetie, just calm down. I'll go get it. It's my uh, stupid mistake. I, 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 it is your stupid mistake, but I'll take care of it. I'll go get it, all right? Oh. <laughs> That's gracious. <laughs> <laughs> Savvy experience, sucker proof, Henry. Mm -hmm. That was classic. <laughs> but I still don't think Spencer's trying to do anything like that. Yeah. Then why is Brad with her at the hotel right now? She needs on camera training, and I am willing to help her. Why would she jeopardize that? Because Brad's a hunk. There are plenty of hunks out there. Remember when Juicy Jana came to town with Brad's daughter? I handled that one pretty good, didn't I? I can handle a little crush. Successful. And um, you took your medication? Yes, I did. I have a special nursing mag watch, and you know, every time it goes <laughs> off, every time there's an alarm, I think of you. And I take a little pill. I'm glad you're okay. I'm better than okay. I haven't been this good since before my father came to town. <laughs> okay. How is he? Oh, you're, you're really good here. I got my very first wake-up call today. He's been kicking like crazy. We're gonna be parents. Yeah, we really are. Yeah. Wanna go lie down? And rest. Sure. <laughs> We'll rest eventually. I'm gonna 
kill you, you little bastard. So I'm at my doctor's again because my asthma syndromes came back again. Turns out asthma doesn't go away. There's still inflammation in my airways. So even when I'm symptom free, I'm not asthma free. Now I'm taking Symbacort and I've noticed a difference in my breathing. It combines two medicines to help control inflammation and constriction all day and night and starts to open my airways within 15 minutes. Yeah, it's good to be in control. Symbacort won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms and should not be taken more than twice a day. Symbacort contains Fomoterol. Medicines like Fomoterol may increase the chance of asthma-related death. So Symbacort is not for people whose asthma is well controlled in other asthma medicines. See your doctor if your asthma does not improve or gets worse. I know Symbacort works to help control my asthma. That makes a difference to me. Ask your doctor if Symbacort is right for you. If you cannot afford your prescription, AstraZeneca may be able to help. Did you know vitamin D helps kids absorb calcium for good bone growth? Unfortunately, 75% of kids don't get the recommended amounts of both. That's where General Mills can help. Every box of General Mills Big G Kids cereals has both calcium for strong bones and vitamin D to help absorb it. Look for this banner only on General Mills Kids cereals like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Cocoa Puffs. Grow up strong with General Mills Kids cereals. Welcome to Progressive.com. Ah, oh, I see you have a list. So I only pay for the features that I need. So let's customize your policy. It's me. <laughs> now just add or subtract what you need. I want lots of coverage, a little less, a low deductible, and roadside assistance. That was easy. Your satisfaction is our policy. It's a little insurance joke. Really little. Here it goes. Getting the policy and the price you want. Now that's Progressive. Call or click today. Occasional irregularity? Try Prunelax, the new all-natural Cena and Dried Plum Effective Laxative provides gentle relief in just one single dose. Prunelax effectiveness helps to regulate your digestive system daily. Special introductory price at Rite Aid, CVS, and Walgreens. Go me! I said a beef hot links. I said a beef hot links. I said a brat beef kielbasa hot smoked sausage cheddarwurst. When I say Hillshire, you say farm. Hillshire. Farm. Go me! When your cat needs help finding her own litter box, you know something wonderful has happened. Like Fresh Step Litter adding odor eliminating carbon. Carbon that helps keep odors from ever leaving the litter box, so it's almost like not having one. Fresh Step, a giant step for freshness. And try improved Fresh Step non clumping with odor eliminating carbon. Whites and coloreds can't be seen together ever. Killed August 64. Puncture wound, base of the skull. We're here because we want to help the Freedom School. What happened? You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Their missions are top secret. I will help you. Their lives are undercover. Our landing in this town was no accident. The unit, new episode CBS Sunday. We've got an intruder alert on seven. An assault on a guest named Spencer McKay. I... What happened? What happened? Oh, Brad! I was in my room and I heard screaming. Uh, Miss McKay, can you tell us what happened? I opened my door and there was this man in my room and so I, I screamed and he pushed me into the door and ran out. Did you see anything? Well, just the lady. I... I think I hit my head. <laughs> Oh, wow, it's bleeding. We should, whoa, we should wash that. Come on, let's go inside here. In there? Yeah, okay. Can you guys uh, check the room out first? Thank you. Hey, thanks a lot for helping her. Uh, if she needs anything, I'm here for another two days. Thank you. It's clear. All right, come on, come on. I'm gonna get you a washcloth. Hey, miss, can you tell us what he looked like? I, the room was dark. I, I, I opened the door and I couldn't see a uh, face, just a shape. And uh, I knew it was a man, though. And um, he was stocky, short, balding. That's 
That's all I can tell you. You know what? That sounds like Crane. Okay, we're reporters. We did a story on the Crane Toy Company today, and the owner, Horace Crane, he didn't like it. I mean, he's a short, stocky, bald guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he went after Miss, Miss McKay when the camera was running, so I'm thinking maybe he just came back for more. I can't be sure it was him. We'll radio down to the command post, get a full hotel search going. And pass his description on to uh, Oakdale PD. All right, thank you. Call the desk if you need us for anything. Thanks. You okay? I'm still shaking. What if he comes back? I think you scared him away. <laughs> you should... He should go. Katie's probably wondering where you are. No, no, I'll call her and I'll tell her I'll stay here until the security guys finish their search. You sure you don't mind? No, 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 not at all. <sighs> Good, because... I didn't think I can be alone. Spencer, you're not alone. Okay, well, you just stay there with her. I will. All right. Spencer was attacked. What? At the Lakeview? Yeah, Brad seems to think it was that guy they interviewed today. He had some real anger management issues. I don't understand. What, 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 was he stalking her? I, no, he was in her hotel room. She screamed and he ran. Well, did you catch him? No, they're still looking for him. Uh, is Spencer okay? Yeah, Brad says she just has a cut and she's really freaked out. He's gonna stay there with her until she calms down. You ought to get over there. <laughs> you don't stop, do you? Stop what? I mean, as soon as you're suspicious of someone, that, that's it. They have no chance. No, I just meant that, you know, since Spencer looks up to Katie, maybe she'll feel better if Katie's there. Please! No, she's right. She's right. I'm, I think I'm gonna head over there. Oh, not you too. Just to make sure she's okay. I'll grab a cab. You don't think that girl could set this whole thing up, do you? Of course not. Who would do a thing like that? All right. I should do it. Thanks for staying with me. I told you we're a team. <laughs> All right. I'll get it. Okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. I don't know what I'd have done if Brad hadn't been here. Did they catch the guy? They searched the hotel, but they didn't find anyone. Oh, so we don't know for sure if it was Crane. Not for sure. It was such a shock. I just kept screaming. That poor guy down the hall, he was trying to calm me down, and I just kept hollering. Well, at least nothing bad happened. I mean, well, the cut, yes. So what happened? You opened the door, you saw him, you screamed, and he ran? Well, at least you're okay now. Could have been a lot worse. I know, of course. Why would he want to hurt me? We were just telling the truth. Exactly. So you have to remember, if it was Crane, if the story comes out, he's going to lose his business. Have you ever been attacked because of a story? Yeah, by a guy in a turkey suit. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do, dance? Well, if you call it that. Or... Yeah, so at the end, I said, I, I'm sorry, sir. I don't think people are ready for performing poultry. But at the time, I mean, it was really hysterical. Well, right? he didn't think so. He came after me with a knife. A knife? Well, a butter knife. But still, it was scary. The crew guys had to jump on him, and Tiny, the lighting guy, had to sit on him until the police got there. Tiny's 300 pounds. But the guy with the gun was much more dangerous. Really? A gun? Yeah. Well, he wasn't so happy when Brad and I got married. He wanted you for himself. No, he wanted Brad. What can I say? I'm catnip. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's better. Oh, I don't know if I'm cut out for this business. Are you kidding? You're natural. Don't even think about quitting. Right, Katie? Dusty, whatever you're doing, will you call me when it's over? I'm sorry, I, I dropped that bomb, but just try not to get too much blood on the floor. We just got you back. I don't want you going away for a long, long time. <laughs> that sounded like it came straight from the heart. Did you pick one up on sale? You know what, I'm not going to ask what you're doing here, just go away. Uh. Boy, I wish I could, but duty calls. What, am I arrested? You should be. For emotional distress alone, you could fill a couple of rap sheets. Mm. I'm shocked it's personal. Oh, everything's personal, Emily. Didn't you know that? Business, politics, affairs of the heart. Why, all of your relationships have ended so badly, and not just for you. You know, I love it. You spend month after month foaming at the mouth, warning me to leave your poor, innocent little son alone. I finally do, and... You know, this isn't about Casey. It's not? Hmm. You feeling a little guilty, are you? I didn't enjoy hurting him, if that answers your question. I cared about him very much. I always will. You are so good at that. It just brings tears to a mother's eyes. I wonder if Donovan would feel this 
moved as I am. Dusty? Mm. What does Dusty have to do with anything? Well, he's the reason I'm here. You know what your psycho husband's been up to? He went to New York, hired an actress and her four-year-old son to pretend to be Lucy and Johnny. New York? I thought you were in Cleveland. He wasn't in Cleveland. He was setting up this woman and her kid to lead me on a goose chase around the world, is, right? Is that true? I wanted him out of town. Oh, I can't believe this. Why not? Because he's normal. He's a well-adjusted guy. Dusty went out of his way to get you out of some of the worst trouble of your life. I, I thought you were grateful. Grateful for what? Him lending me some money that was mine to begin with? It's never yours, whether you like it or not. Your father left it to me. Yeah. And isn't that interesting? The whole world thinks he's dead, but somehow he manages to be the main beneficiary of my father's will. Now, my father was a lot of things, but he was not stupid. There's no way he'd leave all my money to a dead guy. Okay, so what are you getting at? What I'm getting at is that Dusty and my father were in on it from the beginning. I don't care what your doctor says. You're a sick man. Today, instantly transform your skin so it's tighter and so much smoother with L'Oreal Skin Genesis Serum Concentrate. It strengthens your skin layer by layer to actually resist the signs of aging. Skin Genesis Serum Concentrate by L'Oreal Skin Care. Introducing Little Allergies Allergen Block, the first and only allergen blocker that goes on the outside to help block allergens without drugs or side effects. Help put the block on allergies. Blam! With new Little Allergies Allergen Block. From Little Remy's. Throughout the years, she thought there was no solution for her dry, itchy skin. Then one day, there was. With natural oils that soothe and relieve itchy skin, new Eucerin Calming Body Wash brings calming one step sooner. Can a multivitamin support a healthy body and alert mind? My one-a-day does. New one-a-day women's active mind and body is a complete multivitamin with support for bone and breast health. Plus, extra B vitamins and a Garana blend to help you feel alert and energized. One-a-day. When you see what we've done with veggies, you'll think it's uncanny. Introducing V8 Soups from Campbell's. Luscious blends with no artificial flavors or preservatives. Like golden butternut squash, southwestern corn, garden broccoli, a full serving of vegetables in a soup so velvety and delicious, you won't be able to contain yourself. New Campbell's V8 Soups. This is a strawberry Pop-Tart. And this is the warm, fresh-baked taste of a strawberry toaster strudel. See the difference? Pillsbury toaster strudel. The one kids want to eat. Bet you think that carpet's pretty clean, huh? I just vacuumed a second ago. Vacuuming alone won't get the sticky dirt that's buried deep down in your carpet. Resolve High Traffic Foam removes the deep, sticky dirt that vacuuming can't. That's clean. Don't just vacuum clean, resolve clean. Today's the day for a magical trip to the zoo. The Spinning Around Musical Zoo. New from Fisher Price. Lots of animals. Where animals come out to play. Babies play peekaboo with tigers. Dance around with penguins. And hang out with some wild new friends. The new Spinning Around Musical Zoo. Only from Fisher Price. You are going to take out $460. Who will the FBI turn to? Best guy to answer a strange digit question. Can't do that. With Charlie out of the equation. I have to get my security clearance back. You need decoys. This is going bad. A new number is CBS Tonight. Spencer's okay. She was really freaked out. She's in a busy hotel full of people, and security's gonna check on her. Yeah, but still, find some lunatic lurking around in a room like that. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty scary. You really think it was Crane? Sounds like it. Too bad she's the only one who saw him. What do you mean? I'm just saying. You don't think she made it up, do you? Why would Crane run at the sight of her? He certainly wasn't afraid of her this afternoon. Well, I mean, she's not sure it was him. It could have just been some thief that ran on the side of her. Why are you suspicious all of a sudden? I know what this is. 
This is Vienna talking. I saw the way she was looking at no, Spencer. No, no, this has nothing to do with Vienna. I'm just wondering if maybe Spencer's a little bit more of a project than we originally thought. We're just getting used to life with Liberty. Do we really need someone else to worry about? Sounds like to me you don't want me to do the show anymore. No, I'm not saying that. It was kind of nice getting out of the studio doing boots on the ground reporting, but if you don't want me to do it... Who's the one who encouraged you to do it in the first place? And I owe you big time for that. Yes, you do. Listen to me. She just needs some shows under her belt, okay? And I guarantee you, Spencer, look, she's gonna be fine. I know, I'm sure you're right. Yeah, come on. that Donovan was back amongst the living. In fact, why don't you leave him another message and tell him, come on over. You know what? I know you cops get your kicks out of intimidating people, but I can't really quake my boots unless I know what you're raving about, Margo. So you're telling me you have absolutely no idea about how Donovan faked his own death and got out of town? No. Why would I? Only because he is the sickest of a long line of sick attachments to unavailable men or boys. This isn't questioning, this is harassment. You asked me the question, did I have anything to do with Dusty? I answered no. Are we finished? No. I don't believe you. I was in love with the man. When I thought he was dead, I wanted to die myself. You were there that night, Margot. you saw me. Why don't you question my mother or my sister about it? No, I think I'll stick to you. So when you found out that Donovan was supposedly dead, there was just no reason to go on with your sad little life. Is that your story? It's not a story. It's the truth. Oh, well then, that certainly explains it. How you got your claws into my son's heart. It was grief. You just had to overcome your grief until Donovan miraculously resurrected. And then, well, bye-bye, Casey. It was real. But, but it wasn't real, was it? You don't know what you're talking about. Really? So, ditching my son when Donovan reappeared, that was just a coincidence. This interrogation is over. Get out. Sure. You know, if I find out that you did have anything to do with Donovan's defrauding this town, I'll be back again. This time with handcuffs. Something I'm sure you're used to. Your father had me locked in a cage. You think I'm working with him? I think that, that, you know, it's a possibility that this whole cage thing is just made up. It's some kind of a deniability. Someone should put you in a cage. Okay, you can't honestly believe what you're saying. What, are you kidding me? He turns on the charm, all of a sudden you believe one word this guy has to say? You know what I believe? I think your father brought Dusty here so uh, he, he could split us up and make you crazy with jealousy. And it worked. Why don't you get out of here, Meg, before something terrible happens? Oh, yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? You're dangerous, pal. You don't belong anywhere near a pregnant woman. I don't care. Don't you dare! How dare you! I would never let anything happen to my wife or my child. Now, you stay away from my family, Dusty. Let it go, Dusty. You're playing with fire, Meg. Let it go. That's your choice. Stay away from my son. I am going to give you the benefit of the doubt. This one last time, just in case it's your illness talking. But if you ever do anything like this again, that's it, Paul. I'm gone. Next week on As the World Turns... You want Dusty? You want Meg? Maybe we can help each other. You want me to be a go-between with your ex? Yeah. Do you mind? What is going on? I think the new girl is trying to kill me. <laughs> someone up there, don't you? Is it Jack? Keep doing what you love. Take Osteobiflex. 
stop gardening? Uh-uh. Only OsteoBiflex contains the exclusive ingredient 5-Loxin, shown to improve joint comfort in just seven days. <laughs> stop exercising? No way. OsteoBiflex uses high-quality glucosamine, chondroitin, MSM, and hyaluronic acid to renew and lubricate joints. Stop working? I don't think so. Do what you love and take OsteoBiflex Joint Shield Formula with 5-Loxin, the number one doctor-recommended brand. What are you making? Condensed soup? The kids are gone. We're moving on. Now we can eat a better tasting soup for grown-ups. The great taste of Progresso is preferred three to one over Campbell's Condensed. This tastes way better. Progresso, what a soup should be. You moisturize everywhere else. Why not your scalp? Respect it and get back hair that's softer, silkier, and 100% flake-free. Advanced Head & Shoulders Conditioners. Respect the scalp, love the hair. We almost called New Gain with Baking Soda. New, sparkling, clean, brilliant, awesome smelling Gain with Baking Soda. But it wouldn't fit on the bottle. New Gain with Baking Soda. The sparkling clean with the scent you'll really love. Are you like me? I have high blood pressure and I have high cholesterol. But he treats both with one pill. Cadawit makes it easier to manage my two conditions. Cadawit contains two proven medicines, one for lowering high blood pressure, the other for lowering high cholesterol, combined in one pill. Cadawit, that works for me. Cadawit is one of many treatment options, in addition to diet and exercise that he discussed with his doctor. Cadawit is not for everyone. It's not for people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. To check for liver problems, you need simple blood tests. Tell your doctor about any heart problems and all other medications you are taking. Or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Along with diet and exercise, Cadawit effectively lowers both high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Two medicines, one pill. Ask your doctor if Cadawit is right for you. The Decon No View No Touch Mousetrap. It kills mice instantly, but it spares you from having to see them or touch them. Which would you rather dispose of? The No View No Touch Mousetrap, only from Decon, America's number one mouse killer. What about my pancakes? The baddest right there about a griddle. How could beauty be so evil? On October 17th, get your mothers, daughters, grandmothers, and all your girlfriends together. Every little thing wants to be loved. Share the spirit that makes us sisters and the love that makes us family. Queen Latifah, Dakota Fanning, Jennifer Hudson, Alicia Keys, Sophie Okanedo. Don't miss one of the year's very best. On October 17th, embrace the sweet life, the secret life of bees. Rated PG-13. with ourselves. We both know what we're feeling. Help! Somebody! Shut up! You can scream all you want. This is kidnapping. Help me! I am not gonna lose Lizzie. Monday, one brother's employee... Do you know how hard it is to find a decent receptionist? ...is another's opportunity. Kudos, bro. You did a great job. Two and a half men. <laughs> then... How about Sam? I'm sure that he could rake leaves. I've been known to be a vicious rakist. What did you say? Raker. Uh, one who rakes. Worst week after Two and a Half Men. New episode, CBS Monday. You're lonely, you're depressed, and a uh, little nuts. But I don't think you did this. See that? What is it? Tip of Eddie Garcia's nose. Oh. Did you kill her? Look me in the eye and tell me the truth, filthy old ghost. <laughs> TV's number one news show, The Mentalist, CBS Tuesday. I'd like to see the police report. I don't have it, but I never thought that I would need it. Well, but now you're in court. I didn't think I would be being sued. But you were being sued. That's why you woke up this morning.